I just my name is today. David Peters. Um, I live at 60 uh, Locust Avenue. Thank you. And I'm also a member of uh, New Roar, which is a new show against racism. Now, when I listen to your report here at the end concerning the, um, the, the grade, uh, the so-called grade scandal, uh, what I was most often, what I was most concerned about, quite frankly, was the climate in which over this last year uh, seems to have uh, where we, in my mind, we've lost our way. And so my concern is whether or not you as a board, to the degree to which you are able to function uh, without being unduly influenced by information that I, quite frankly, should have heard here for the first time, but for information somehow to leak out into media outlets, if you will, and for that information to only be housed within the particular board itself and for that to happen greatly concerns me. Uh, what also concerns me is seemingly is this, this atmosphere of personal destruction, which seems to be the way in which our sense of culture and our sense of community is accepting this as the way in which we should function when we should not. It is, it, is, it is my belief and others' beliefs, and others who believe that, that it, we no longer can, can be a school board or a community where, where we allow for there to be only seemingly uh, one voice or two voices that get amplified more than others. But my, but my greatest concern is that there, you, that there seems to be a sense of believing that. I cannot believe that we reached back to a time when Principal Richardson was here uh, and once again created a sense of, of, of distrust and mistrust as if there was some, cons cons some conspiracy of, or, or, of, of making things happen that shouldn't happen, which has consistently been what's been happening over the last year. To reach back and to describe this man in such a way and then to attach people who he knew such as such as the um, Miss Alvarez, well, I'm not going to mention any names, but you already mentioned that. No, no, such no, no, as no, the no, principal, no. such as the principal, all right, any of these things is a horrible thing to happen. And so one of the things that I'm interested in and other people are interested in is hopefully that you will take into account how, you, how you're being influenced by this atmosphere of destruction. And so from that point of view, one of the things that we want to begin to do is to create another atmosphere for dialogue. Yeah. And that atmosphere will be a website in thank January around a new Rochelle for okay, a better thank, tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Peters. Thank you so much. Let me just say before, Ms. Ms. Douglas, before you start talking, let me just say, uh, uh, Mr. Peters, um, the folks here in front of you are just as outraged as um, you know, we're trying to do the best that we can. We're, as you can tell, we're trying to um, improve as far as from an accountability and, and communication standpoint within the community and rebuilding the trust. Um, it does not help when information that we are working with gets leaked out to folks that um, uh, that have no intent to to help with the process, but more to hurt with the process. Um, you know, we're hoping to change the culture within the within the district so that folks do not feel that they have to do that kind of um, action. So um, we're just going to have to bear with it. That's the environment we're living in right now. Uh, we're work, working uh, we're working our best to change that culture, but I appreciate your comments. Good evening, Daphne Douglas. I just want to, I'm sorry, all of you have a challenging role that becomes um, a challenging role given the toxic, the toxic climate filled with intentions to not problem solve, but to disproportionately assassinate the character of those of color. Um, even after individuals leave the district. We entrust you with the responsibility to make sound, objective decisions based on your expertise, your competence, and passion to see our school district succeed, which means equitable opportunities that create space for all of our youth to succeed. Hello, um, my name is Sandy Burnaby, and I'm representing, um, I'm a member of a national network of uh, racial equity professionals, and many of them are here tonight. Um, and we've been watching, and we see the, the struggles that you've had all year, but we're also really, really concerned about um, what we're seeing. We believe that there are professionals among your staff that are being targeted 
and misrepresented. And so I'm here with a package of letters for you to leave with you, but a statement to read. We call upon the Nourishell Board of Education to act with collective wisdom and strength of integrity to interrupt reactive decision-making by public opinion. This action must happen against the current backdrop of false news and a culture where honesty is compromised and often not valued, which has fueled in this case the reckless writings of a local blogger and then has been cited by newspapers and television as authentic information. It was appalling to see the extent of such harm through slander when people interviewed by News 12 called for a New Rochelle principal's resignation based upon incomplete and inaccurate reporting. The slander of professional educators by this blogger and a pattern of attacks against students at this high school, particularly their academic achievements, is always suspect because the targets are almost always people of color. The children are watching and we must not continue to perpetuate a view of their school as a failure. We are negatively impacting them and their self-esteem, never mind their sense of respect for the adults entrusted to care for them. We call upon the Board of Education in the city of, of New Rochelle to use their collective wisdom to not react to the blogger, but rather to stand behind your own determination by investigation, but also a fair process. I know I'm not supposed to say this, but we are here in support of, Sh of Shadia Alvarez. No names, no okay. names, Thank no you. names. Good evening. My name is Bruce Soloway. My wife Lourdes and I have lived at 76 Vaughan Avenue for almost 29 years. Our two daughters are proud and successful graduates of the New Rochelle public school system. When our children were in school, most of their teachers and virtually all of their school's educational leaders were white. New Rochelle has made significant progress since our children were in school. There are now many more teachers and leaders of color in our school system. Not enough, but a good start. This progress was hard won and must never be allowed to be undone, whether through simple neglect or through organized efforts by some who may consciously or unconsciously be uncomfortable with diversity and leadership. When professionals need to have their employment terminated, this must be done with the utmost care, fairness, and respect. But the project of making New Rochelle schools fully representative of our community must never be allowed to be rolled back. My name is Shane Ocean Loyer. I am a member of New Roar. I believe in government accountability. Um, and sometimes in national government and state government and politics, leaks are a necessary thing because the leaders were not intending on being responsible or conveying information at all. But since the public is aware that you intended on reporting on everything that was going on in the district, that makes the recent leaks in these circumstances very irresponsible. And I hope that those leaks will be as heavily investigated as everything else that happens in Marichal. Hi, Miriam the same. Uh, Mount Joy Place, and the 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 sad thing is, is that we have talent in house that would help you see that, Mr. Stravaggi. Um, you have a house principal that's leaving, that we're doing nothing to try to keep. You have another one that we're pushing out as a sacrificial lamb for data in a program that you're calling cheating and stuff. But if we're investigating, we should be investigating how we change grades all across the board. We change grades for AP classes all the time. We give kids incomplete so we can change the grade later. So if we want to start questioning about how we're changing grades and we really want to have a thorough investigation, let's see how we change grades across the board. That's, that's some of the things that we have. We have great talent here, but we're not even keeping them. And we're talking about how we're going to get them, like we're, with the superintendents. We have talent here, and we're actually pushing them out.